All right, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to use the ladder method, or double division, to find the GCF of 24 and 60. So I'm going to start with those two numbers, 24 and 60. Remember, what we're looking for here are numbers that divide into both 24 and 60, or another way of thinking about this is looking for factors of 24 and 60. So what's a number that goes into those? Well, they're both even, so I know that 2 goes in. 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 60 divided by 2 is 30. All right, um, I think there's still more common factors, so let's take a look. 12 and 30 are also, once again, both even, so 2 goes into both of those. 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. And finally, 6 and 15 are not even, but I know 3 goes into both of those. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now, 2 and 5 are, uh, there's no common factors. So what we can actually say is that these two numbers are relatively prime, meaning they have no common factors. So that's how we know we're done, when those two numbers at the bottom are relatively prime. But let's focus on the GCF. These numbers here on the left are all common factors of 24 and 60. So if we combine those common factors, we actually get the GCF. So the GCF is going to be equal to 2 times 2 times 3, which happens to be equal to 12. So the GCF of 24 and 60 is 12, or in other words, the largest number that divides evenly into both 24 and 60 is 12. And actually, if you look at these numbers here at the bottom, you can kind of see that that works out well. 24 divided by 12 is 2, and 60 divided by 12 is 5. And that is how we can use double division or the ladder method to find the GCF of two numbers.